I don't know. Somebody told me there was a crowd out here. Thank you. Thank you. I want you to know that I um, just got off the phone with Scott Brown. I've offered him my congratulations and my best wishes on his victory tonight. And I wish to him and Gail and to his two daughters, and I told him, uh, he, Mr. Brown, you've got two lovely daughters, which he does. Uh, and he also uh, extended his good wishes to me. And so uh, I wish we were here with other and better news tonight, um, but we are not. And I want to take this moment, first of all, for all of you in this room and those of you who are probably still out working. You poured your hearts and souls into this campaign. And there are thousands of you, literally. We had thousands of people out on the street since September. And I want to say a incredibly sincere thank you for everything that you did, obviously not just for me, but for the campaign and what we stood for in this campaign. And so let's give yourselves a huge round of applause for what you've done. Thank you. Thank you. I will not forget the fierce determination with which we approach this not just again about this campaign, about the things we believed in and we still believe in and we will still fight for in On After Tonight. And I know you will join me in that. We never lost our focus or our determination and you never demonstrated an ounce of discouragement or complacency as far as I'm concerned in this campaign. I know how hard we worked and you uh, own uh, everything about this campaign. You were there every step of the way as we went forward in the primary and through tonight and focused on the issues that I believe everybody in Massachusetts does care about and everybody in this country um, should be focused on as we go forward. I want to say a very sincere and loving thank you to my husband, Tom. Thank you. I had him out on the campaign trail for the next, for the last couple of days, and I can tell you um, there are at least two dogs who are very happy about tonight's results because <laughs> we're going to be back with them. Um, I have to thank my family, uh, many of whom are here behind me tonight. My sisters, Anne and Jane and Mary, are all here. My nephews and nieces and grandnieces. Terrific staff on our campaign. If you worked with our staff, with Kevin and Dennis and ML, and everybody else who gave sweat, blood, and tears and all of their time to this campaign, you know how much heart and soul we put into it. And it was my honor to be working with them and with you during this campaign. You've in some ways become an extended family for me. As I tell my folks in the AG's office, my extended dysfunctional family, but that's okay. <laughs> I will never forget the passion and the energy and the soul that we brought to this, and that includes the friendship of everybody who's worked with us. I know you'll join me in thanking President Obama, who took this little trip to see us here on Sunday. He um, actually just called me and uh, before I came on stage to say um, that we can't win them all, and he knows that better than any, as he told me. Uh, but he appreciates uh, what I did and what you did, and he said to extend his um, heartfelt thanks to everybody who'd worked on the campaign. Uh, and as I know from losing a campaign um, several years ago, uh, writing a little piece about it for the Herald, um, that I feel very strongly about. If you do not run, you cannot win. And you don't always win all of the time, but you put in your best efforts because sometimes it, it's more important to travel, hopefully, than to arrive. Uh, and in some ways, And we will 
continue to travel, hopefully. I know that. I know that many of you had the great pleasure of seeing President Clinton as he was out on the campaign trail. I want to thank him. And particularly, I need to send my thanks, and I know yours, to Vicki Kennedy, who campaigned with me all weekend. To Vicki, who was the source of, as she always was, her dignity and grace and her warmth and good humor. And in one occasion, when she gave me a good tip, she said, I'm channeling my inner Ted, and was incredibly great along the campaign trail. So uh, I have to thank her, and I know you join me in that tonight, as well as the entire Kennedy family for their support and their love in this endeavor. Okay, so this is the deal. Although our campaign ends tonight, we know that our mission continues and our work goes on. I, I am heartbroken at the result, and I know that you are also, but I know that we will get up together tomorrow and continue this fight even with this result tonight, because there will be plenty of Wednesday morning quarterbacking about what happened and what went right, what went wrong. And I know that everyone, including me, I am brutally honest on my own performances, we will be honest about the assessment of this race. And although I am very disappointed, I always respect the voters' choice, and that's what I told to Scott Brown tonight. And again, we wish him luck in his public service. Anyone who's been out on the campaign trail, particularly in this race, has seen the anger of folks who are frustrated, concerned. They are angry about health care issues, and they're angry about our two wars, our inability to properly care for those who return home after fighting. I had hoped in the best interests of our state and the country to go to Washington to address these issues. I hope that as a nation and as a commonwealth, we can do better in the future. You know that as your Attorney General, I will continue to fight and address them here with everybody in Massachusetts who cares about these issues. Thank you. For me and for you, tonight this campaign comes to an end, but there's plenty of work to do here in Massachusetts and as we continue to organize for America. And so we will always remember our terrific Senator Ted Kennedy and his words, the work begins anew, the hope rises again, and the dream lives on. Thank you.